In this video, I'm going to set up a multiple gallery in Elementor. I'm going to show you why you need them and how cool they look. Hey, it's Ozzy here from thecallmehoz.com where I talk about the tools that I'm using to generate income online as a solopreneur. And in this channel, I share tutorials and all the great tools that I keep finding. So if this helps you in any way, please subscribe and I'll keep you posted. Okay, so in this video, I want to show you how cool the Elementor multiple gallery option is. Okay, I'm going to show you a real example too, so that you can see how they all look. Okay, so here we are on my test website. And what I'm going to do is insert a gallery somewhere on this page. So let me click on edit with Elementor. And you need Elementor Pro for this, by the way, in order to use this component. So let's let this load. Okay, so let's find a place where we can insert a new section. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to restrict the width to 800. And now we're going to search for a gallery. And I'm going to use this element here, the masonry one. I like this one. Now you'll see here that the type of gallery is set to single. Okay, so this would be a normal gallery. You just dump some images in there and that's what you get. So let's do that now. I'm going to click on the image icon. I'm going to select files and I'm going to select all the files in this folder. Let them all upload. These are just random images of bathrooms, by the way, in case you're wondering. Okay, nothing sexy here. Okay, so let's create a new gallery, insert into gallery and there we go so let's update that and let's see what this looks like so here's our page again and you can see the gallery here the images lazy load okay and yeah that's just how it looks now keep in mind that i haven't really done anything design wise it doesn't look that good <laughs> so let's go back here and in fact let's just change that a little bit okay shall we let's go to advanced oops Let's click on the element here, go to advanced. Let's add uh, some top, let's add 80 and some at the bottom. Let's also stretch the selection and add a background color. Why don't we? Okay, so something, something like this, why not? Okay, it just looks a little bit sexier now, okay? Now let's click back on the gallery item and this time I'm gonna change the type to multiple. Okay, so you'll see that we have a new gallery there and I'm going to name that set one as in image set one. Now here I'm going to click on this and I'm going to click all these images that we clicked before and that's going to be gallery one. Okay, so one thing that you can do here now is control how the gallery looks. So it's set to lazy load automatically. You can order randomly or default. You can also set the gray out to whatever you want. I'm going to set it to masonry. I prefer that. And you can choose the columns and so on. Okay. Now you can choose an overlay if you want. But what I like to do is go to style. And here, let's have a look, hover animation. Let's do a zoom in. So when you hover over an image, it zooms in. Okay, and if you really wanted to, you could put an overlay here and that would apply to the entire gallery. Now you set up the style features that you want on this gallery and then you simply clone that gallery. Instead of creating a new item like this, I'm going to close that, you clone the first gallery and that way you carry over all the features that you set, like the zoom on, on hover and so on and if you set up an overlay or whatever then you have the same consistency across every gallery now for this one i'm going to rename to set to and what i'm going to do here is click on the bin icon or the trash if you're from the us click on delete then click on plus and this time i'm going to set up these images which are from a different bathroom and this is going to be set to. So I'm going to clone this, call this set three. So let's update that. 
and now let's go to the front page let's refresh that and you'll see how the Elementor multiple gallery actually works it's actually pretty cool so here we are we have let me just set this up a little bit better okay I want to add more padding at the top because it's clearly not enough okay let's put 120 in there and let's go back to the front page so here you see all the galleries which appear as just one big gallery it's set to masonry remember and that's why we have this cool effect and when you hover your cursor over any of the images you can see the effect that I chose which was to zoom in okay now what you'll see here is the other sets that I actually selected and this is simply a filter and keep in mind that you can call those galleries whatever you want it could say gallery one gallery two or bathroom one bathroom two I just call them set one set two for this example but you can see that if I click on any of these links the actual gallery loads and excludes all the other galleries so I can have all the galleries showing or just one gallery in particular so that is the Elementor multiple gallery component It's actually very cool it enables you to have all these galleries in just one neat place with this cool filter instead of having to build separate unique galleries which of course would then all display on your page at the same time forever so this is a great elementor feature i love it and i hope that you get to use it now for more tips like this please subscribe to the channel and that way you stay in the loop but in the meantime take it easy and i shall see you in the next video